UFC middleweight Gregory Rodriguez's father was a budding martial artist who sacrificed his own career to help develop his children. The fighter known as Robocop dedicated himself to fulfilling his father's dream. Gregory's dad tragically passed away before he could see his son compete in the UFC. But Gregory is determined that his father's legacy will live on in the form of UFC gold. We find out more in this edition of Origins. Gregory Rodriguez, a rising middleweight. Mana is a jiu-jitsu master. It was his father that got him into martial arts. He's a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Nasty Muay Thai. Oh! He certainly is known as a finisher. Oh! He is excitement personified. Oh! Gregory Robocop Rodriguez! I growing up in the middle of the jungle, in a poor neighborhood in Manaus. I started martial arts with my five years old. My father was a capoeira master, and uh, he introduced us to the capoeira. My dad was a visionary. He uh, think that was good for us, you know, for the discipline. My dad was a big fan of MMA. He has tapes of the first UFCs, and I remember when I was a kid, and we watching a pride, you know. My dad's dream was become a fighter, but uh, he couldn't live in that dream because three kids, man, it's so hard. So I think he looked into me when I was kidding him, oh, this is gonna be a, you know, a great fighter. I started jiu-jitsu with my eight years old. One of my father's friends, he knew a good place, and I saw like the kids, and oh, I wanna do that again. I wanna do that too, because so many kids like playing, and then that's, that's how we started. My career in jiu-jitsu was great. I was in the, high, in the high level. I got gold medal in more professional tournament in Abu Dhabi, and my eight, eight times national champion in Brazil. One of the reasons I decided to move to MMA was the financial. Jiu-jitsu is uh, kind of expensive because I was in Manaus and all the big tournaments was outside there. And I was like 20 years old, almost turned 21, and I said, man, I need to make money. So my dad watching my two first fights on TV. And then on my third fight, I bought a ticket to him to come to Rio de Janeiro to watch him live. My brother and my father, they were supposed to arrive in Rio de Janeiro on Tuesday morning. I think it was like almost 5 a.m. My wife, she called into my home. She told me, like, my dad passed away. My dad had cirrhosis of the liver. Yeah, it was hard to see my dad so sick because I always saw my dad, like, strong, going to work, playing capoeira, and then he passed away, like, two weeks before that fight. I lost my fight. I lost by decision. That did me a lot because that's like make me like be a man. His dream no pass away because that's still in my mind, you know, like that's still alive here. In 2018, I decided I need to move to America if I want to live the, you know, as a fighter. My manager calling me and said, hey, Gregory, you get a chance in the Contender Series. And I said, no, man, I no way. Being the Contender Series for me at the time was like almost the same being the UFC. Fighter who began training at five years old in Capoeira with his father, started Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu at eight years old. Here is Gregory Rodriguez. When I signed the contracts, the Contender Series, in my mind is that, man, I'm in the UFC already. Everything's done. Get my win, but I'm in the UFC ready, already. Ready? Fight on. Rodriguez just looks strong. I mean, but look at this. Jordan Williams always pushing forward. Tight oh, 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 big left from Williams. That. Putting his he punches hurts. together now. He is hurt. Rodriguez is he down. Is Jordan Williams oh, by knockout. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
When I fought in the Contender Series and I lost, so many things changed in my life. I started thinking about stop the fight because I remember I said, man, I trained it because I was forcing to train. That was not my will. And I started like a lot of questions on my head and I asked the question, that's my father's dream or that's my dream? I think like, man, I'm not living my dream. I'm not doing that because I want. That was my daddy's dream. That was because my dad like introduced me in this sport. My wife and I, we make a lot of plans. You know, be in the UFC, get a little bit more money, change our life. And that didn't happen. And man, like I was very lost. My friends from Brazil, they started moving down here to Florida. And then I said, we don't need to be in California. Maybe we need more friends or we need to change uh, our life. I don't want to fight no more. And then I decided with her, let's forget everything here and let's go move to Florida. And always I ask myself, man, what am I going to do? And every morning I start to pray, God help me, open my eyes, let me see what I need to do. I remember one day I was in front of the mirror and look into myself and started crying. And, uh, and I remember like when I started training, my dad was there. I remember when I lost my dad in 2015. And I said, man, that was my dad's dream. And he gave his own life to show me something good. Man, I got a chance almost to get in the UFC. I don't know to do nothing than fight, than training, than be inside the cage. That's become my dream right now. Nice, oh, watch out. Nice, nice. If I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this for real. My manager called me and he offered me a fight in LFA. And then I said, man, put me there. I'll find him there, LFA. Fire. Another shot from Rodriguez. Oh, oh, that might have done it. Over and out. I uh, run and talk to my coach and say, man, so now that was me inside the cage 100%. Man, I like that so now. And then I fought for the belt. And now a left from Fram. Fram needs to just get his jab going. Keep Rodriguez off him. Takes him. I got the LFA belt on, on a Friday night, and my phone ring was my manager calling me and just for telling me I was in the UFC. Like, <laughs> I almost give up, man. I was close to give up. What a whirlwind it's been. Stay ready. That's the message. Gregory Rodriguez was ready after winning his last fight to become the LFA middleweight champion. We've seen several LFA middleweight champions come to the big show and have success. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. I mean, that's how you take someone down, with authority. Dushko is in a lot of trouble. Gregory Robocop Rodriguez! My fight against Junyoung Park was a fight off the night. Old school dog fight between these two. Oh, oh that left hook landed. Oh, he's bobbled him. Man, I'm the Robocop. They need to take my head out to stop me because if I'm still my feet, I will fight him to the end to get my victory. Uh-oh. Oh, he's Robo in Cop is marching him down. Oh, oh, and oh, that's shit. it. Gregory Rodriguez. My dad was the biggest fan of myself. And if he see me right now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. To see his face and all smiling and seeing his eyes shine, seeing me where I am right now. Oh, my goodness. How is Marquez still up? Oh, he's not. Marquez out on his is feet. out on his feet right he now. Really this dude is hurt bad. He's out on his feet. Oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 Rodriguez oh, puts oh, the finishing oh, touches oh, on it. Oh, and wow. The fight against Chidi was a war, the real war, because I knew like how good Chidi is. Oh. Oh, oh that's him up with the well-timed knee. Rodriguez is busted open. How is he still standing? I didn't expect, like, beginning of the fight, he opened the gas on my, 
on my forehead. I started bleeding a lot, and that's going on my eyes, and I was uh, kind of blind in the fight. Oh, look at that cut. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. In the UFC, man, everyone is going to be tough, you know. I just need to do my best every single day, improve myself, and, and be the best if I can be. Dude, Gregory Rodriguez is one of my new favorite fighters, for sure. Oh! And now Rodriguez got ground and pound. Oh! Robocop with another incredible comeback. Gregory Robocop Rodriguez! I'm so happy, man. Like, I was expect like, fight like that, man. We are inside the UFC. That's a, that's a World Cup. The best fighters is here, and I'm the one off that. So, yeah, man, uh, I'm just happiness, grateful for everything happened now in my life. I'm a fighter for my job, but outside there, I want to be the best father. I want to be the best husband for my wife. I'm a guy live like that. Always try to improve myself. I'm so grateful for my dad. I was so grateful what he did because he gave me a gift to change my life. And so now I, I just want to tell him like how much I love him and uh, and I say thank you. You know, I appreciate you for everything you give to me, for the man I am today, for the daddy you was to me. If I'm like just 1% like you was to me for my daughter, man, I will be a great father. Hi, <laughs> Thank you.